Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Katzman. Right, we're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music. Ten points if you can identify the composer, please. St John's Clegg. Ravel. No, you can hear a little more, Peter House. Peter House, Paul. Elgar. No, it's Rachmaninoff. It's one of his variations on the Rhapsody of a Theme by Paganini. So, music bonuses in a moment or two. Right, so we go back to the music round now. That was one of uh, Rachmaninoff's variations on Paganini's 24th Caprice. For your music bonuses, you're going to hear three more works that are variations on themes by other composers. This time, however, you'll hear the original work as well. For the points, you'll need to give me both composers. In each case, you'll hear the original work first, followed by the variation. I'll need your two answers in that order, please. No, it's Beethoven and Robert Schumann. Secondly... Mozart and Liszt. Oh, Mozart and Liszt, sorry. No, it's Bellini and Liszt. Yeah. And finally... Mozart and Chopin? Correct. Yes. Ten points for this. Which US composer has provided scores for films including Martin Scorsese's Kunden, Paul Schrader's Mishima, and Richard Eyre's Notes on a Scandal? His works also include symphonies drawn from themes in David Bowie's albums Low and Heroes. East London Ducklin. Brian Eno. No, anyone like to buzz from Glasgow? Glasgow Lauder. Horner? No, it's Philip Glass. We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear part of an opera. For ten points, I want the name of the British composer. Open Crawford. Benjamin, uh, Benjamin Britten. Benjamin Britten is correct. It is. Uh, it's the, the Latin scene where Flora and Miles are being taught in the turn of the screw. Your music bonuses are three more operas that include roles for children. I simply want you to identify the composer in each case. Firstly, for five, this French composer. No, it was Debussy. It was from Pelleas et Melisande. And secondly, this Austrian composer. Humperdinck. 
No, it's Alban Berg. It's from Wozzeck. And finally, another Austrian composer. Mozart. It is Mozart, it's from the Magic Key. First performed in the 1740s, the pastoral heroic operas entitled Zeiss and Nice are works by which French composer? Was it 18 or 1740s? It's uh, 1840s in England. Nominate Smith. Berlioz. Uh, Jean-Philippe Rameau. Todd Graff's 2003 film Camp, about a summer camp for performing arts students, sees which US musical theatre composer and lyricist play himself? US musical theatre composer. Mm. Stephen Sondheim? Correct. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. For your music starter, you'll hear a piece of classical music by a German composer. Ten points if you can name the piece. Manchester Rowland. No, sorry. <sighs> you can hear a little more. This is lamentable. Come on, this is one of the most famous pieces of classical music. Selwyn Warwicker. The Rite of Spring. No, it's the Sixth <laughs> Symphony by Beethoven. So you get the music bonuses then, Selwyn. They are on the sort of bits of music that are played by councils while they get around finally three hours later to answering your phone call. Now, if you've ever phoned Salford City Council, you could have heard Beethoven VI being played. <laughs> You're going to hear three more pieces of classical music that, according to a press association freedom of information request, have been used as hold music for city, borough and county councils. In each case, I want the title of the piece and the composer. Firstly, for five, the composer and title of this piece used by Harrow Council to assuage complaints about roadworks. Sorry? Arrival of the Queen of Sheba, Handel. The Arrival of the Queen of Sheba by Handel. That is correct. Secondly, this piece used by Warrington Council while they formulate a response to your bin inquiries. Um. <laughs> 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 well, start. Did you get the poster right? <laughs> Any initiated guess? Charles, it's your turn. Okay. 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 No, 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 no. Uh, pass. That's Boccherini's minuet. Finally, this piece of music used by oh, Thurrock Council about your call being important to them. <laughs> I'm inclined in that music by Mozart. Correct, yes, well done. <laughs> We're taking a picture round now. For your picture starter, you'll see a silhouette portrait of a composer depicted at the mercy of a music critic. For ten points, I want you to identify the composer Who's the figure on the right? Uh, Jesus Petridis. Beethoven. No, no one liked to buzz from Corpus. Corpus Christi Johnson. List. No, it's Wagner. So picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points at stake if you put your fingers on the buzzers. Now, which Italian composer's opera Aureliana in Palmyra premiered in 1813? Two years later, he reused the overture for Elizabeth, Queen of England, and the following year, used it again for the Barber of Seville. Jesus Price. Rossini. Rossini's correct. Yes. <laughs> you get the lead. Now, you'll recall we saw a picture of Wagner and the critic Edward Hanslick. It was by the Austrian artist Otto Beuler. He specialised in silhouette portraits of notable musical figures of his day. Your picture bonuses are three more of his portraits of composers. Five points for each you can identify. Firstly, who's this? Bruckner? Bruckner? Debussy? 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 No, it's Brahms. Secondly, who's this? Could that be List? Did List convert? List? List? List is correct, yes, depicted there as the Abbey List. And finally... 
Is that Marla? Is that going to be Marla with the conductor? Yeah. Marla. Marla. Marla is correct. Yes. <laughs> right, we're going to a music round. Your music starts. You will hear a piece of classical music. Ten points, please, if you can give me the name of the composer. Senza far Peter House Powell. Purcell. No, Glasgow, you may hear a little more. <laughs> Glasgow oh. Breyev. Donny Serti. No, it's Monteverdi. L'Orfeo. <laughs> so you recall, a moment ago we heard a bit from Monteverdi's L'Orfeo. You will hear three more excerpts now from classical pieces of music, all inspired by the myth of Orpheus. In each case, I'd like the name of the composer, please. First, this Russian composer. Prokofiev? No, that's Stravinsky. Uh, secondly, this Bavarian-born composer, please. Wagner? Yeah. Wagner? No, that's Gluck. And finally, this German-born composer. No, no, it's often back. Right, we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you'll hear an excerpt from a suite of classical music that's been used as the basis for a ballet. For ten points, I want both the name of the composer and the title of the suite. St John's Clay. Dilip Carmen. No, you can hear a little more Liverpool. You may not confirm. <laughs> Liverpool Bennett. Sabertans catch to you. No, it's Rimsky Korsakov. It's part of Scheherazade. So we'll pick up the music bonuses with you. Scheherazade, which you heard a moment ago, was one of the ballets born from the creative relationship between the choreographer Michel Fokine and the dancer Václav Nijinsky, while both were at the Ballet Russe. Your bonuses are three more works that Fokine turned into ballets in which Nijinsky danced leading roles. I want the composer of each, please. Firstly, for five, this Russian composer. Rachmaninoff. No, it's Stravinsky, that's from Petrushka. Secondly, this German composer. Schubert. No, that's Weber, the Spectre of the Rose. And finally, this French composer. Delibes. No, that's Ravel. It's from Daphnis and Chloe. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>